Welcome everyone, just to a very special discussion, if you like, about mentoring for the soul. And it's really what Life Vision Mentoring is about. It really is about finding that spark within you and turning that into reality in this lifetime. And there's so many people at this time that just know that this is their time to shine. And yet so much of us is caught on the old person of who we were. And so my intent today is just to go through what Life Vision Mentoring is about. We'll go through the details, but I also want to just really look at that aspect of us reaching our full potential now. You know, not in six months' time, not in five years' time, but, you know, this is our time now for us to actually do that. So I just want to welcome everyone. I welcome all the mentors who have joined us here today, all the people who are there. I want to welcome all the people who are listening to the replay. And as I said to you, this idea of life vision mentoring came about because of myself. You know, my own journey, if you like, started... You know, really, I was, I was a teacher until I was 32 years of age, and I was doing what everyone else was doing, what I thought was normal. I was married, kids, got the teaching job, did the whole thing. At 32, I saw an optometrist who told my son to do some eye exercises, and I actually laughed. And I said, come on, give him some classes. That's what he needs, you know, like I was an accounting teacher. But there was something that triggered in me in that conversation. And I went home and I started practicing not wearing glasses for about 10 minutes a day. But so I put them on in the morning, I take them off at night. Now, within six months, I was able to read without glasses and I was able to legally drive without glasses. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. You know, like I'm going to teach people how to improve their eyesight, which... My initial business is called iPower, which is about improving eyesight. Hence, the vision school is both about improving your inner eyesight and your external vision. So that's really what that was about. But the most remarkable thing happened two weeks, only two weeks after I got 20-20 vision on an eye chart, I went back to the optometrist who was, became a friend and he'd show me all these new toys and he'd show me this toy that you're supposed to check your peripheral vision. And what happened is I was waiting for him to start the machine and he said, Barry, what are you doing? And I said, I'm waiting, sitting here waiting for you to turn it on. And he said, it's been on for 10 minutes. Two weeks after that, I was operated on for six hours for a pituitary tumour sitting on the optic nerve. And they said to me, you shouldn't be able to see. And I'm telling them about all the palming and sunning and things that I'm doing for eyesight. And, but it literally changed my life. And it took me on a very different road. What it did, it gave me permission to do anything because people would go, oh, Barry, you're sick. You can go and do Reiki. You can go and do kinesiology, whatever you want to do. You know, it was almost like to appease me. But it gave me a sense of freedom and it gave me a very different way of seeing life. And then about four years after that, you know, going through this journey, and you can imagine this sort of whole world just escalated for me. I went and did a 10-day vision retreat far north Queensland and literally went missing for a few days. And came back and there's helicopters and there's police everywhere all trying to find me, you know, expecting not to find me, by the way, because I was in a crocodile-infested area where no one who disappeared had ever come back. And again, another transformation in my life that again opened even more doors for me. And the two things I learned out of that, of all that experience, the two big things I learned were unconditional love and grace. And I'm happy to have a big conversation to anyone about those two areas. And from there, I sort of, try to sort of fit back into the world because having had a near-death experience as part of that, I came back and I didn't quite fit in into anything. And I was trying to 
pretend to be part of the world again, but it just did not work. Mm. And so this sort of continued for about 10 years, by the way, and I, I sort of struggled and then eventually, you know, left the relationship I was in and trying to really find myself. And about seven years ago, I had the amazing opportunity. I decided just to go around the world and, and find me. And I went around the world and everyone I met had something to do with vibration. It was amazing. And it was like, I was just meeting the right people. It was like the universe had put me on this personal program of meeting the exact people I meant to meet around the world. And I came back and I sort of sat with it and I literally went out in the bush for six months. And I sat with this and I said, what's going on with all of this? I don't understand. And what came to me was that there was a clear distinction between vibration and frequency. And when I got that and understood that my vibration in terms of my personal development was going really strong, but my frequency in terms of who I was, was really not working. You know, that the, the down to earth, practical relationships, money, life, am I living my life's purpose? Not really happening. And when I understood and was able to separate the two, everything took off. And up until then, you know, using the David Hawkins scale, we thought that a you know, 500 was you know, about us mere humans could get to, and a 1,000 was the maximum that no one could reach. And since then, we've had over 100 people do the life vision mentoring have reached over 1,000 in the vibration, have really taken off and expanded who they really are. We're going to talk to some of them in a moment. But the other side that was even more important to me at the time when life is struggling was my frequency. You know, I needed money, you know, living really week by week sort of existence stuff. And I really started working on gratitude, number one thing to help with frequency, and expanded my life to the extent that all these amazing new possibilities have occurred over the last six, seven years. And so I started, first of all, running a course for family and friends, anyone that I could sort of rope in and say, I've got this great idea that I tried on myself, you know, come and try it. And it was like life is your mentoring one, but it wasn't called one then. It was like, let's try this funny idea that Barry's got. And every person in that group had success. And then in the second group I ran, we got to the end of the, the six months it was at that time, everything's shortened now we can do the whole six months and four months but it was a six-month program and i can remember at the end they'd all sort of conspired behind my back and they all said we are all booking in to do your course again and i've gone no you can't you're finished you've graduated you've reached this point you know off you go not very good marketing plan by the way i'm telling like the more i'm saying off you go the more they're saying no we're staying Anyway, what happened next was amazing. So, and I, somewhere in the back of my mind, I said, you could, write, you could be in the advanced program, if you like. And every one of them signed up to the advanced program. Many of them are still there now after all those years. Because they saw the benefit of not only raising your frequency and, and your vibration, but hanging out in a group that can actually do that together and support each other which is actually, if you think about like Wayne Dwyer and Mary Morrissey and, and all those sort of people who were sort of out there 20, 30 years ago, they were all in a classroom similar to our own classroom that we have now. And that's what I see, that every one of those people who continue will be a world leader at some point. So I'm really excited by that. So what I want to do is just go through the, the, the details of this. This is sort of the overview, if you like. But I want to go through the details of what the program is actually about. So I'm just going to share my screen. All right, has everyone got that? You just wave if you can see all that. Okay, terrific. All right. So what we're going to be looking at here, as I said to you, we're going to start with 
doing something about vibration. As I said, vibration is our connection to this inner world component, our, our soul. And some people call it level of consciousness. David Hawkins referred to it as, you know, calibrate it from zero to a thousand. And many of you who are here now, many of you are listening, I would suspect you've done a lot of personal development work and you're around about 500. You know, that seems to be where people are coming at. But, you know, 500 is about what, five years ago, that was about the maximum I thought people could get to. I knew one autistic person who was at 600 and everyone else was below that. And it's traditionally at, you know, this idea of, you know, zero to a thousand. Now, I just want you to imagine your life at the moment if you could just simply double your vibration, if you did nothing else but that. It changes who you are. It changes how you're, you know, instead of reacting to stuff, you respond to things. You know, people often talk about don't sweat the small stuff. You know, it just doesn't become that important anymore. Would be what it, how I see that. And then the other side I had to work with was frequency, which is about the outer world. You know, law of attraction, they talk about the ability to manifest. And when I looked at this and I wanted to start with what's out there, there was nothing out there. There was no scale to talk about frequency. And so, you know, I simply just did a zero to 100%. Where are you in terms of your frequency? And now I refer to that as a traditional frequency. If we get over 100%, we move to a high conscious frequency. And that's where people are able to manifest things just so much quicker and so much easier without struggling about doing that. And so traditionally, we go from zero to 100. Um, the average, by the way, on the planet is still around about 25%, which I was absolutely shocked with. I, I remember arguing with Spirit for days about this. And they said, just look at the number of people in military and the number of people in fundamental religions. Interesting two combinations. But they're both told what to do. When people are told what to do, they lose their sense of autonomy and their frequency drops. So this is really about taking personal responsibility and being the best person that you can be. And this takes a little bit of courage to break away from what everyone else is telling you you should do to what you know you could be. And again, imagine you know, having a frequency that shifts from you know, 50, 60, maybe even 70 to well over 100 in four months. You know, that's what we're talking about. In the, Again, the people who have done that, the people who are about to do that. The benefits of this, what are the benefits? Well, I, I sort of put these down as four aspects that I wanted to look at. The, the first one was the ability to be able to go with the flow of life more. We get to relax. We get to sort of really go with what's happening in life a lot more. You know, things, we don't stress out as much, if you like. Stuff still happens, by the way. You know, we're not going to say life doesn't ever happen again. Stuff still happens, but we get to flow with it. We connect with others at the same level, and that's huge. To start hanging out with people at a high vibration, high frequency. You know, it just makes all the difference when we can do that. We create ongoing inner change in who you are. and really. Um, you get to be who you really are rather than, you know, I, I went to a men's group one day and I told them all I was coming out of the closet. And they all sort of looked at me like, you know, what's that mean? And I said, why should only be a minority that come out of the closet? I think everyone should come out of the closet and be who they're meant to be. And the fourth one is you get to really achieve your sole purpose in this lifetime. You don't have to wait. This is, you're not doing a 12-part program to do your soul's purpose. This is it. And so that's pretty exciting, I think, to sort of do that. So as I said to you, we had a six-month program and we've now put it down into four months because, we've again, the world has sped up even in the last two years since I've shifted it from six to four months. 
And so the idea is that commitment is about an hour a week. And the hour a week is you either get an individual session with one of the mentors who I'll be talking about, where you get to clear stuff, clear sabotages, clear fears, really set it up so we can live in that vortex all the time. We do group clearings around money, communication, and, and the key one there is around emotional stability. I came up with the process so that you can deal with the emotions without letting them overcome you, if you like. We do mastermind sessions with as a group. So we actually meet twice a month. You have an individual session with one of the mentors and you have an individual session with one of your accountable partners, accountability partners. And the accountability partner is important for you to do what you're going to say you're going to be doing. And I actually muscle test the ideal person for each of those. And it's been really interesting because some people are absolutely best friends stay together. And sometimes when I've tested, it's been a bit of conflict. It's been like, oh, I'm not too sure about this person because it's the exact person that you're, you need for your soul to expand. So it's always the ideal person, whether you like it or not, I guess. So it's really interesting. There's a number of bonuses that come up and there's, look, there's more than these, but look, the obvious one, if there's an extra Tuesday, I think there's one or two extra Tuesdays because they're five Tuesdays in the month. Um, there's an extra class. Uh, there's a retreat. In actual fact, for those who can sign up uh, beforehand, there is actually a retreat coming up. Uh, those in, in lifetime, there's actually one coming up tomorrow that, is for all the group. One of the bonuses I've just did, whether people were in it or not, I've just turned up and said, let's all get together and hang out for a day. And we're doing that tomorrow. So people who join, I'm going to invite them into that. You know, imagine hanging out with, there's over 50 people coming who all have a vibration of over a thousand. I want to hang out with just with those people. There's discounts in the vision school. They're normally a 50% discounts. Sometimes you get the programs for free. All those sorts of things come up uh, and ongoing support. You know, um, like I did a clear blocks to financial freedom. And then 12 months later, I actually gave a bonus, which was integration classes. So that we'd go back and revisit them. So my idea is not just to go, here it is and off, off you go, but there is ongoing support there for you. Uh, we do guarantee this. And the reason why I've got a 100% money back guarantee that if you do this and you don't raise your vibration frequency, um, it, it's actually, it's a very strange guarantee because we actually haven't had anyone do that. Okay. Part of it is we make sure that you have a sufficient vibration frequency to join. To date, we've had 100% success rate. So I'm happy to give a 100% guarantee because... I'm hoping and I'm wanting to continue my 100% success rate. But, you know, there's always, you never know. And I guess, you, you know, it gives you that peace of mind where people go, oh, yeah, but everyone else can do it, but not me. And I'm here to say, yes, you can. You know, like we are all in this. We're all just, you know, human people doing the best we can. There's nothing over special, if you like, about anyone. We are all able to do it. There's also a special bonus that I'm doing for this particular course. And the course that I've got for this one coming up is I'm going to give, just want to give another course away. And the one particularly I want to give away is the clear blocks to money flow. You know, if money is an issue for people, let's clear that. And we've had people make money within a half an hour of doing each of these classes. There's seven classes there. There's seven integration classes. So there's about 10 and a half hours all up of clearing blocks to allowing money to really flow. But it is a choice. You know, it's going to be an individual. Some people say, look, I've got a handle on that. I'd rather do optimal health. Or I'd rather do better vision and look at my eyesight, those sorts of programs. So we're going to give you a choice of what you want to do there. So that's sort of pretty handy. So the value to date, you know, I worked it out and I actually did this yesterday. I sat down and worked out, what do I actually offer? And when I worked out the Life Vision Mentoring, which is really a $7,500 program, and I actually know other programs at that price. I've looked at them. 
And I still feel that the difference in the life vision mentoring is we don't just identify the issues, we get to clear them. There's a whole lot of bonuses that I've already said. There's an extra course bonus that I'm going to give you. That's 13 and a half. Plus, there's always other bonuses. People know me and know that there's always extra bonuses that show up. You know, that there'll be, um, you know, one of the obvious things is everyone will be gifted a conversations game or everyone will be gifted one of my, you know, the books that I have or extra time and things like that. Because I really want to see you succeed. That's really what I'm after. And we actually used to have a price of this. It used to be in Australia. And when I converted it, it came down to $4,060. That was the course to do life vision mentoring. And I've got a big belief at the moment. It, you know, it's a $7,500 course, really, that we're offering for $4,000. But I want people to hang out together in that high vibration and to stay there. So the price that we're actually offering for now is $2,995. And you get the bonus program as well and and the other thing i want to let you know for those who continue on into the advanced program the advanced program doesn't increase in price per month and that's something that again all the people who have been advising me and how to do courses have said you know you should have the the, the initial course maybe at three thousand then then put them up to a ten twenty thousand dollar program you know two thousand a month sort of stuff and that's what they've been recommended there's still maybe that down the track. I'm going to always never know what's going to happen. But my original goal at the moment is just to keep everyone together so that we can all expand together. That's the idea. And then finally, the, the next class actually starts next week, which is Tuesday in Brisbane time, in New Zealand time, Monday in the North American time. We'll say Monday night in the UK. We've sort of got people in the UK coming in this now. All right. So the link is at the Vision School. You just simply go to Life Vision Mentoring in the other courses. Have, you can get all the details and videos of people who have done it, amazing stories that have happened. And, you know, the question I put there is what would happen to your life if you could raise your own vibration and frequency? And if you don't, the reality is maybe just simply more of the same. All right. So that's sort of an overview for, for people, which I actually have never actually done before. So hopefully that gives you some ideas. Just before I open up, I want to open up to general questions in a moment. Um, just before we do that, I just want to introduce you. We've got three of the mentors here at the moment who are absolutely amazing in themselves. Um, Heather, I'm going to start with you. Do you want to just jump on for a second, please? Sure. Hi, everybody. How are um, you, Heather? I'm great, thanks. Um, I'm Heather and obviously... <laughs> love how, how was that explanation? Did that sort of clarify, do you think, for people? Oh, look, I think you did a great job, Barry, and um, just hearing a little bit about your life story too, I think really shows people how genuine you are with what your your journey has been and where you're going with it. And I know for me that's certainly been a major, major part, your authenticity um, and your love for progress for helping people. And um, yeah, I've known Barry for about 15 years now. Mm -hmm. um, I met him way back and at a course and I've I've certainly seen that that progress into um, this magnificent program. And yeah, you know, I think I was a little bit of a groupie there for a while. You know, it was like go Barry, go Barry. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so um, um, and I've been part of all these courses and well and truly. And uh, plus, of course, now working with the Vision School. And I always thank Barry because he kind of kicked me out of the nest and said, "Get on with it." And so I think sometimes you need that. You just need someone there that's working with you that just kicks you out of the nest and that boot ain't coming back. You know, it's like you, and it's amazing what you can do when you free fall. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you allow your soul to fly. Thank and you. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, I just want to say one of the things I recognize with you is, is Heather was a person who, um, you know, wanted to have that safety net still, you know, like I was, you know, similar to me, I was teaching, I've got to keep who I was 
And once you've dived into this, you just haven't looked back, have you, really, like in who you are? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I had a very safe, secure job with being a teacher. Um, and uh, But I knew in my heart of hearts, my soul, it just wasn't really where I wanted to be. Um, and I really did want to move on to being able to be a, a purposeful to actually to the children as well, because there's so much there that didn't really sit well with me, but but to um, um, mankind. And so, yeah, I'm, I, like I said, I'm always very thankful that Barry gave me the opportunity to um, to expand the wings and, yeah. and fly. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Heather. And many of you, look, Heather has been, you know, has it, I've been doing this for so many years now, and we're really just grateful for you having <laughs> your life. So appreciate yeah. you. So grateful, so grateful, and just so grateful for the beautiful, like-minded people that I've met through this program and um, continue to meet. And so it not only expands, I know it expands people's lives, but it certainly still expands mine, you know, so I'm, I'm very grateful, huge gratitude. Oh, so thank th you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Lisa, we're going to bring you on as well. Lisa sort of do, does a dual role. She not only is an amazing mentor, but she's actually amazing for me as well, just to support me in making sure things get out there and all the things that my brain can't cope juggling as many um, thank you Lisa's Barry. also a laughter coach so she keeps me uh, smiling all the time as well so um, thank you and just before I say about me yes Deborah you are right US Monday is the fourth <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she makes sure that I that's why she doesn't like me putting dates out because I always mess them up it's like Barry you got this out um, what's your experience being a mentor? Like, well, how's that shifted from being in the program for you, do you think? For me as a mentor, um, it means I get to revisit and, and sort of going over the things again. I really enjoy the layering. Uh, for for example, I'm a very you know I love my memory hooks. I love to the connect things. Um, you know, the re reminder that for me to remember vibration is the I and the frequency. You know, mash it up a bit. Frequency, and so by being a mentor, I just get to go over things and layer. Yeah, layer my knowledge and layer my understanding. Um, I, I just want again, the, the comments have come back from the people you've been mentoring have been amazing and the shifts that they've had. So I want to thank you for that publicly. And um, just want to introduce people, let you, people know that, you know, people have become mentors in some cases have just done the program and they've just evolved. And Lisa's been one of those people who have done that. So thank you. When just as it, when we think about, yeah, yeah, meeting at a car yard, and then at a laughter conference to hear. It's fantastic. Our initial Thank thing you. was a car yard ran by my cousin that Lisa was working at. That's how we actually met. So the universe has amazing ways of connecting people. So that was pretty cool. All right. Thank you for that. And Rosalind, I really want to thank Rosalind staying up in the UK late here at the moment. And uh, just want to bring oh, you on. Oh, you're so welcome. In fact, I'm glad you didn't bring me on before because the clock's just struck 12 and it's quite noisy when it does it. <laughs> It well, was you have divine a timing that you waited. Um, I, you, you've had a really interesting journey because you're you're the newest mentor and you've really fast tracked everything because you've almost come straight out of it into mentoring, didn't you? Like, mm. and um, yeah, what's been your program. experience of the program itself? I'd be just really interested. It's fairly um, recent for you. For me, the program brought me a lot of clarity about life purpose. I felt I'd sort of lived for 50 years in a bit of a fog and sort of gone from one thing to another. Um, you know, things happen and you get a job and you do this and you do that. And But, I, you know, I wasn't doing it in any directed way and maybe none of it really made my heart sing. So it was lovely, the focus we have on our life purpose and doing really what's important to us in life. Yeah. So that was really, really important to me. Um, but also, as you've commented on, actually meeting up with the other people and 
the support that there is in that group and the fact that I know I can just go into the group at any time if I've got a question or anything comes up and somebody there will respond and say, yeah, I can suggest this or I've experienced that. And um, yeah, it's very, very supportive. It's lovely. Mm. And look, again, I, I want to thank you as well. I think the three mentors I have at the moment are just absolutely amazing. And uh, I, again, feedback I get from each one of you is awesome. So thank you. Thank you. So it's been really an interesting process. And, and other people have done things like there's one lady that's running a, um, a meditation group within the group every week and things like that. So there are opportunities for people to really stand up and express yourself as a leader, because I believe each one of the people in this room here are leaders in your own right. So I'm going to ask people for Q&A, for those people who do need to go, because it was only going to be a half an hour and we're just going to go a little bit longer today because uh, I just really want to make sure we answer all the questions as well. But this will be recorded if you need to go and you can come back to the replay. Um, Deborah, I wouldn't mind having you on because you've just joined and I'm, I'm sort of curious as to what was it that encouraged you to join for the one that's coming up next week? Well, I've been a financial advisor for four plus decades and now I'm serving as a financial coach and really talking very much about behavioral finance, which of course involves our minds. And you can know the basics of finance and yet if you don't put them together effectively, then you don't move forward. And so I've been dealing with that and knowing full well that there's a subconscious and in addition to the conscious. And, and I'd heard about Barry's, Barry's work from uh, a couple of very, very trusted friends and tapped into Barry and did a couple of group things and then said, you know what, this is just, uh, he was able to uh, call out, you know, you, you make other people a lot of money and I want you to make yourself that money first. And it was like the same darn thing. And I say it in coaching, like the airlines are right. Put your own max and oxygen max on first. And it's not like I don't have money. It's just that there were certain blocks. And I was just so relieved to tap into Barry's genius and say, all right, great. You know, let's release this stuff because I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know what's all in my subconscious mind. It's a lot of it's running me. And so I want to know more and clear it out. So I was so uh, pleased to say, gosh, this is the time, you know, the student is here, the teacher is there. It's a complete confluence. And I just said, yeah, I mean, completely, let's move it. Let's move it out, move all that clutter out, clean the pipes and onward. I, I love that, that, that whole thing about the time is now too, you know, like, and it's been a really interesting process because over the years, people have always said things like, uh, you know, my, my favourite one when people don't want to do is I'll do it next time, you know, like there's that whole I'll do it next time. And very few people actually do it the next time, you know, like it just gets pushed away and there's life takes over. So I just want to encourage people if possible. And there are reasons why sometimes that has to happen. However, my experience is, you know, take the moment and the classes are recorded you know i've had people say i can't do it because i won't be there one day out of the whole 10 or you know online ones and they're recorded we've, we've had people do the entire course and she's still with us who actually just do replays but gets the one-on-ones and and he's still flying he's doing so well you know and he's connecting through the facebook thing so you know there's there's really you know, some people find obstacles, some people find ways of getting around obstacles. And I want to congratulate you on really stepping up. I'm, I'm really excited uh, what we're going to be doing next week. Thank you. I'm excited for the possibility because it's about expansiveness, right? That's the, that's the essence of now, right? If you just keep doing the same thing and expect something different and much more, you know, flourishing, Mm, you know, in the United States, we kind of call that insanity, right? If you do those <laughs> same thing, same thing, expect a different result, right? So I'm expecting and, and really manifesting big, big things. And I'm uh, real eager for Barry to clear out whatever might be uh, conscious or subconscious standing. Otherwise, would that, that would have stood in my way and I'm like ready to go. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. So you could see that uh, Eckhart Tolle had a book out called The Power of Now, you know, not, not The Power of Next Time. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that would be an interesting one coming up. Um, 
Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate that. I, I did say I want to clear something today. There's something coming up for someone. And if you want to raise your hand electronically, uh, if you feel like it's you, um, I want to clear something now around. It feels like I can see these people. It's almost like you're standing on the edge, ready to take this sort of leap into the unknown. And it's like, oh my goodness, you know, shall I be doing that? Um, Alicia, can we, can we grab you? I, th I think you're already, aren't you? Yeah, as soon as you started talking, I thought, oh, that's me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Very good. Good to see you again. So, so what's going on in your mind? What's happening? I, I, I'm just curious. Well, I, I saw your program through Jana Danielson. Yep. And I'm searching for, I've been doing the expansion work for about four or five years, and there's something blocking me, and I know it. And so, um, yeah, I just, I need some help with, the blocks because I know there's a lot more out there. Okay. And, and I want to do this more generic. So I don't want to sort of set up a thing like I will do Barry's program because that's sort of not really what we want to do here. Right. Right. But I want to, I do see you standing on the edge of a cliff ready to take off. And it's like, yep. will I take off or will I just stay here? And, and, and yep. it's fear is actually coming in by the way. Oh, yep. Yep. Right now I'm totally yeah anxious and yep. That's Which is why one of the very first, like the second or the first session, depending on, on where people are at, a whole hour is just clearing blocks, clear about 10 blocks of fears associated with yeah. that. But yeah. this is a fear that actually, we talk about fight or flight, this is actually a fear of freezing for you. You're just going to, like, you'll just stand on that edge. You won't even move off it. You'll just stand there looking at it. I believe it. Okay. <laughs> So let's come up with a statement for you around this. And, and this is so apt for you for your life. And the statement is going to be okay, it's a really new statement. I hadn't had this before. It's just allowed to come. And the statement is it is safe to fly. Yeah. Say that it for is me. safe. I'm trying. It's it is safe to fly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really get that. It's just feel. I can feel that there. It's like oh, it's not. <laughs> no. Yep. yep. I'll say it. I'll keep him happy, but the day one, it's not safe. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I want to acknowledge first of all your courage to at least own that. Yeah. You know, yeah, it takes I mean, courage to do that. And yeah. so. What would it feel like to you if it was safe to fly? Oh, pure joy and freedom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's what your soul's been calling you to do, isn't it? Like that's, yep. you know, like, you know, people say, oh, no, I'm, I've just got to watch my ego. I don't want to think you know, you're too big otherwise. And, and your soul didn't tell you, I want you to go to earth and have the best mediocre life that you can have. <laughs> you know, like it just didn't do that. Yeah, nope. No. Nope. So, really, I, like, I'm feeling it here for you at the moment. So, would you like to clear that? Yes, I would love to. So, for those who don't know, I actually clear it, you know, using a technique that I created. And the key to these, this course, I believe, is not identifying the blocks. There's plenty of courses that identify what the issues are, but we want to actually clear it energetically mm -hmm. and you'll pick up just listen to what people are saying and the way you say it and listen to yourself and so again just say it for me one more time please it is safe for me to fly it is safe for me to fly okay yeah I'm just gonna clear that now so yeah And I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say what, what come up as I clear this because I get an image of what's coming up. Um, not so much for you personally in your childhood, but more from probably teenage years onwards. Mm -hmm. Life has shown you why it's not safe to fly. Yep. All right. And you've just had experience after experience of this is not safe. And then who's this guy turning up trying to tell me this is safe? All right. And I just want you to create a space now where that can be old story for you 
and who you are now is completely different. So I want you to say one more time for me, please. It is safe for me to fly. It is safe for me to fly. Okay. How does that feel? Well, it, it actually comes out of the throat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually heard it this time rather. I yep. didn't hear the yep. no, I'm not at the you know, running around. It feels, the there's just a certainty. Yeah. There's a certainty, like a, a centered. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Mm. I'm, regardless of what you do, please let me know what, what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I, you. I just saw these big wings on you now. Go like, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. And not only is it safe, I'm here to let you know it's actually also fun. <laughs> you know? I believe it. You know, like it, it. it's just that first, oh, I've got to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, this is actually pretty fun here. Yeah. And especially when you get to fly with others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't believe yep. you're here just to do it by yourself. All right. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm, uh, are there any questions? Again, please raise your hand. Look, well done. She did. It was amazing. Um, if, if you have a question, feel free just to raise your hand. Um, otherwise, Again, the information's there. My suggestion is to meditate on it. Simple as that. Meditate. What does your soul want you to do? Not just what Barry wants you to do. We've got bonuses. We've got the price right down. All that's there. But what does your soul want you to do? Okay. And can I just say, if it's just money, have a conversation with myself or one of the team. We really want to see what we can do to make this happen for you. Amy, you had a question. Um, the thing that's stopping me, uh, and it's not going to, cause I'm going to figure this out is I go away to a remote cabin where I don't have any internet access or anything for sometimes a month or yep. more. And would I, if I don't follow along for that month, is that a problem? And then go back and watch the recordings or. No, it's just, so we've had people who are doing that and. My suggestion in that month is there may be times that you could listen to the recording, like you be somewhere. We try to yep. get the recordings up within 24 hours is our goal. And so you can catch up really easily. Like, honestly, we've had people who've been away for two months and, and have just built around that, you know, like life still happens. Yeah. And so, you know, even the timing of it, I'm trying, you know, like I run these courses early in Australia in the afternoon in America, late at night in the UK. doesn't always fit with everyone. So the experience is that all my work, you know, works beyond time and space. So all the people listening to this replay will get the benefit of it's safe for me to fly. You know, that's for everyone, for yourself, all the people who are on the call now, and for everyone who's listening. And I've had so many, you know, I just love getting emails and texts from people thanking me for things I've done two or three years ago. And it's still having that impact on them. You know, like that excites me. That we can reach people even without knowing them sometimes. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Awesome, well done. Oh, look, thank you again very much, everyone. We've got a little bit over time, but we didn't know exactly how long this was going to go for. Um, I do want to let you know the classes. I'm really particular in the classes. We do, you know, we've been doing them enough. We do start on time. We actually finish on the hour. And I'm always there normally 15 minutes beforehand, and I'll stay 15 minutes afterwards for anyone that has individual questions as well so that, you know, we just don't rush off. But I recognise that people are busy and, and that you've got time commitments and things like that. So I'm happy again. I'm going to finish the recording here. I'm happy to hang around if there's any other questions that people have. Otherwise, as we said, we start uh, the first week in April in 2022. If you're listening to the replay in five years' time, uh, just simply go to the, the visionschool.org and that will tell you when the next class is going to be because I have no idea where it's going to be in five years' time. We'll probably do it uh, through a hologram somewhere in the corner of the room or something like that, hopefully. So, look, thank you all very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone fly.